Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and um, today I want to show you how you can link Sonoff devices, whether it will be Wi-Fi or Zigbee devices, to your iPhone and how you can integrate it into the, well, the iOS home application and then control them from the iPhone. So you can see here now that I'm operating this POW Elite uh, and then you can see that it is also being changed here and if I switch to another device, let's say um, the touch, then, oh, come on, then it is working here as well. And this integration would allow you to integrate cheap Sonoff uh, smart home devices. I think probably Sonoff is considered to be one of the cheapest in this category to your iPhone or iPad. And we, for that, we are going to use Homebridge. And the reason I'm making this video because Homebridge was available for some time now and you could grab your you know, Raspberry Pi and install Homebridge and then you can just build the integration that way. But now uh, there is a new product from Sonoff, which is this iHost that you can see here in the background. And um, this is basically a box like a Raspberry Pi. So it's a very small single board computer on which you can install the Homebridge integration. And instead of the Raspberry Pi where you have to like, you know, download an image and format the SD card and then, you know, use command line here with a couple of clicks, let's say with like 10 minutes work, you can create the whole thing uh, and then have a Homebridge integration up and running. So it is really easy. You know, most of it is already supported by Sonoff and um, yeah, you can be up and running in, in, let's say in an hour and then have everything you know, together and you don't have to buy your special hardware. And of course, I would say the other, you know, big benefits of this is that, I mean, nowadays even a Raspberry Pi is really difficult to purchase. And then this iHost, I would say it is, you know, similar price as, well, not exactly similar price as a Raspberry Pi, maybe similar price what they are selling it now, but this also contains a Zigbee coordinator. So you have a device which can run the home bridge integration and be a zigbee coordinator at the same time so for example if you look at my home and then if i click on this climate you can see this temperature and humidity readings that's actually a temperature and humidity sensor uh, from sonoff so you can see it here so if i click i just need to move this out of the way so that's my temperature and humidity reading coming from a battery sensor and now it is available in my iphone as well so it's good and for those who just found this video by, you know, search or YouTube recommendation that uh, iHost is a new product that uh, Sonoff started selling actually as a release of the video. I think it is still in pre-order at the moment. So it's a new box uh, in which they provide local control of devices, very similar to the iOS concept where you have a phone or an iPod, which is controlling all your devices locally. Now you have this iHost, this, this really small computer, which can control uh, these devices locally. And, you know, since it has the capability to run the home bridge integration, it can do the same thing. So you have one device which is going to handle everything. And I made previous videos on how you, you know, set up your iHost. But it is really easy because you buy this device and then you connect USB-C for power and the network and then basically it is up and running. And anything that you see on the screen today is uh, the application and the, and the functionality which is running on this small device, which is in your home, so everything is local. So the integration is working and I don't want to talk too much about uh, you know, what you can do in the... Uh, in the home application in iOS because I'm not really an iOS user so I just wanted to set this up to see how it's working and uh, if, I think if you have uh, you know Apple device probably you know what are the capabilities of the uh, you know the Apple home application and probably there are much better videos than I can do on this so I want to just focus on the integration here and even though when I say I want to focus on the integration <laughs> actually some of also made a fairly good video on the main steps but i'm going to talk you through that and i'm going to link their video in the video description as well which is like a short five uh, like uh, i think two minutes video which goes through all the steps okay so what you need to do first is uh, you need to go uh, into your well the iHost of your website and then you click on here on the docker 
And um, I mean, in my previous video, I already mentioned that I have inserted my micro SD card and I clicked format in here. And after you do that, you have this EV Link smart home, which I set up in the previous video. So now what we can do is we can set up this home bridge integration. And it only takes a couple of steps. So you come here to this big plus plus button. And then if you type home bridge and then search, then you would be able to, well, you have a couple of home bridge dockers, but the one that you want to uh, select is this OSNU slash home bridge. So that's the one that you need to select. And then you select it and then you would have an install button here. You click there, you wait for a couple of seconds uh, for it to install, and then you're going to have a run button. So you click it and it runs this uh, Docker image on the iHost. And once that is done, then you can click on the more info and then it's going to show you that your you know your docker is is running and uh, this is the port it's running on and i mean a couple of other information so when you run it you will get a pop-up screen which asks you like which host and directory to run it you just select uh, you just leave the default values and i haven't selected the microphone and the speaker i don't know if, if it makes a difference and maybe you can select that one as well and then just run it and that's it your home bridge integration is running but we haven't done all the work yet so now you can see that this integration is running on port 8581 so you open a new browser and then you go ihost.local colon 8581 and that's the um the ui uh, of the home bridge and initially it's going to ask you for a user ID and a password so you just provide a user ID and a password and then you should be in this screen and now you can see that it gives you like a QR code so you now you can go into the home application in uh, in your iPhone and then you just say add new accessory and you can scan this uh, 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 barcode and then you should be able to add the devices but before you do that or after you do that you have to go to plugins because we have to install this EVLink Q plugin. So again, you can just uh, uh, search here and then, you know, that's the EVLink Q plugin. Again, uh, I have it installed already, so you should have an install button here. But, you know, once you install, then uh, it, it's going to appear. And then, uh, you know, when you run it, you go into the settings and then you just need to pair this or yeah, link this with your iHost. And again, here on the screen, you can see all the instructions, what you need to do. It also shows you instructions, what you need to do on your NS Panel Pro. But for this video, I'm just going to focus on the iHost. So you can uh, find your iHost here. And uh, because it's going to be on the same device, I think probably the easiest one, if you just type 127.0.0.1. And then, uh, you will have a button here which says uh, get token or obtain token and after that you go back to this iHost and here you should have a pop-up screen which says you know there is a token request do you want to approve and for me it took for some reason it took about a minute for that pop-up to appear but when I was doing exactly the same process for the EVLink application it appeared immediately so I, I'm not sure what the delay was but then, you know, once you do that, then you link your iHost with the iBridge. And that means that uh, the two things are linked together. And within your accessories, you should be able to see all the devices that you have in your iHost. So you can see here that I have all these devices, um, like, you know, some of the Zigbee devices, which, for example, these sensors. And I also have the Wi-Fi devices, for example, you know, the ADAS panel and the POW and some of the other things. Uh, I have a couple of cameras here that's not going to go over to Homebridge so you won't, won't be able to see the cameras but the, the other reason you are seeing more devices here because then it shows um, you know for each channel it shows uh, different buttons so for example on the 4CH or the 4CH Pro I have four channels so that would be channel 1, 2, 3, 4 on the same device but this is how it appears uh, here and that's pretty much it. Oh, after that, you, you need to restart your home bridge. And as I said, once you have done this, you have this application. You can he go here 
uh, and plus and add accessory and then you can scan the QR code. So it's not really going to do anything for me because I've already added this, but you just follow these on screen instructions. I mean, I just had to, you know, click on add to Apple home and there was a pop up message uh, that it is not like an Apple device where, you know, if I'm sure I want to add it and I just add, you know, add it and then uh, my devices started to appear and that's pretty much it. So now you can see that, uh, yeah, all of my devices here. And the reason they are switching back on because they have some uh, logic configured on the on the Sonoff side. But as you can see, all the switch devices are getting replicated without any problem. Of course, devices like the POW Elite, which also measures you know power and uh, you know electricity consumption, they are not visible here. So all you get basically is just like an on-off switch. And uh, up here, you can see that uh, some of my sensors are coming through as well. So this is a temperature and the humidity reading. And it, again, if I go back to my iHost, we should be able to see that, yeah, these are the temperature and the humidity readings that are coming from my um, Sonoff Zigbee temperature and humidity sensors. And I was trying to see if the security settings of the iHost will come through here on the security, but they don't. So that's not something that gets integrated here. But um, yeah, I mean, it is really easy to set up. You will have access to all your Sonoff devices on your iPhone using the iHost. And if you purchase the iHost, you don't need the Raspberry Pi. You don't need any other hardware to run it. And you can just do the whole integration on that. And of course, it's great that it's working now. But, you know, once matter is coming, I think it's probably going to be even easier because all the matter supported devices that Sonoff will make will just integrate natively to, you know, iPhone uh, using probably an iPod and we wouldn't even need the iHost. But that is probably at least six months away as far as I can see. So if you want it now, then you need to invest to iHost, which at least is available at the moment. Well, okay, it is pre-order as a making of this video, but that should be available very soon. So this is all I wanted to mention about this integration. All the relevant links are going to be in the video description, but that would be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.